Okay. Hey guys, you know, you notice my hair flowing in the wind. I just got <laughs> I just got a blowout. I'm actually about to go get my eyebrows done and I'm about to go get my hair done actually. I just got a blowout so it was easier for whoever's about to do my hair to make it easier for them. Cause I'm tired. First of all, why I got what is that? Anyways, yeah, cause usually when they do my hair, they have to like blow it out. And I have a lot of hair. Like I just don't I don't have just like, oh yeah, I have hair. No, like I have like an immense like ton of hair. Like I got hair, bro. So I basically got it blown out cause you know, make it easier for them. And on top of that, I wanted to see how um how much my hair grew. My hair grew OD. Like I is like in the back, like it's touching. Like it's touching, feel me? Almost titty land. I mean I'm dragging it, but my titties is out here, but like, you know. It's almost titty land. Like, you know? But yeah. Now I'm about to go get my eyebrows done. First of all, this lighting is trash. I'm about to go get my eyebrows done, and after I get my eyebrows done, I'm actually on my way to go get my hair done. So I have to go to Harlem to go get my hair done. And then after that, um, it's money. Just do laundry. And yeah. Yeah, that's all I have to do. Hey. I mean, it didn't like grow, like, oh my God, it grew, it grew. But like, yeah, it got some length to it. I don't know, maybe that's just me. My hair grow deep. I don't care what nobody say. My shit grow. Okay, you might see like a hint of red in it because my hair used to be ginger, but not too much. Not too much. I'm gonna see y'all when I'm getting my eyebrows done. We got my hair done. Don't mind, don't mind the stuff in the back, okay? I gotta throw that out and this out. It's uh, my old vanity mirror. It was broken and I gotta throw it out. But anyways, and laundry, I gotta do an umbrella. But anyways, let me just, let me just sit right here. Anyways, my hair is finally done. I gotta take like some pictures and stuff like that. But I really like it. And on top of that, my eyebrows got threaded and they are um, tinted. And don't mind my lashes hanging off for dear life. I've been trying to take them out for like a minute now. And for some reason, they're just not coming out. So... At this point, it's really just like, fuck it, we ball. Like, whenever they fall out, they just fall out. I'm not getting my lashes done again until probably December. Uh, I kind of just like my bare face. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. But anyways, um, oh yeah, I wasn't able to record because I went to Harlem and I kept forgetting that Harlem and Boston Road were like completely different. Like I was packed up in there like a bunch. Like we were packed up in there like a bunch of sardines. Like it was like fucking eight of us in like one room. We're all like squished together. So it was like imagine how uncomfortable it would be if I was recording. As soon as I like left my phone up to see, there was like at least three people in my view. And I just like I don't know if they want to be on camera and stuff like that. So I just didn't um I just didn't record them just out of disrespect. So yeah. So out of respect, I just didn't record anybody. So why does it look like that? It's like hella bright. Oh, that's my roommate. <laughs> that's oh no, he's always jamming. But anyways, now I'm about to go do laundry, and then afterwards, I'm about to just come back home and chill because that was really it. I wanted to record myself doing my eyebrows too, but my friend was venting to me on the phone, so got cut short. And yeah, and then sooner or later I'm gonna do my nails and do my natural nails because um, I'm pretty sure my nail beds are a little weak because I haven't given them a like you know a chance to breathe. So that is what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna see you guys probably when. What's the game? Um. I just got a package. I just got a, I ordered a bag from this brand called Glamaholic. Yo, I've been so like hesitant to buy this bag because of no reason. I just procrastinate when it's time for me to do things for myself. But this bag is cute. AF. And we're doing an unboxing. You're the first to see it. 
Well, we're the first to see it. Okay. Is this show my address? Is this show my address? No, it's not. Okay. So. Let's wait for it to come out. Wow. Okay. I like the packaging. The packaging is eating. Okay. Alright. Oh, and I bought some Fenty um lip oil. I'm already using um the cherry one. Haven't used the peach. I'm saving the peach actually. So, damn, I have mad, but I gotta clean this shit up. Oh, look at the inside. It gives you a little tote bag and shit. Okay, this is supposed to be a size medium. This medium is looking real big. Okay, so the tote bag eats. I actually like this. I love the tote bag. The tote bag's cute. I don't know what this is from my thing. But the tote bag eats. Don't mind my room, okay? I need to clean up. And tomorrow's my off day. So, yeah. Take the bag. The tote bag is really nice. Okay, so flex. I should get, I actually have a tripod, but that shouldn't broke. I mean, it didn't break. It just, I ordered it from Amazon and it forgot some of the items in the friggin' tote bag. I mean, in the friggin' tripod thing. So, it's honestly not even a tripod. Where's the front of it? Okay. Ooh. Bro. This is my new work bag, but it's so cute. Look at it. The material feels so nice. Side, back. It has um the pocket thing, and I know you could uh oh okay, cause on the large you could like unzip it and then zip it. But yeah, that's what it looks like. And open it. Oh, eating my book is in here. The chain. Cute. Yep, this is my new work bag. So cute. Oh, it has two compartments. So, it looks pretty roomy. I'm not gonna lie to you. But, I kind of hate the fact that the chains that are like, I hate the fact that the chains are like in this but anyway it has two compartments here this one has a little pocket thingy right there and then has a zipper there so it's a cute bag it's a really cute bag and i am wearing it today yeah glamacolic glamacolic shop 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 all right i'm gonna holla at y'all Okay, I'm praying this doesn't drop. But anyways, y'all, I had copped the new winter coat. It just said I didn't do a review on it because I was, I kind of got a little distracted because I honestly thought somebody stole my coat because when it delivered and I came and like to get it, it wasn't out there. So I'm thinking somebody ran off my coat. But luckily, my landlord, she got it. So I'm gonna show you to y'all. Okay. This is the beauty. It is a red sax coat. It is hella cute, hella comfy. I like how it has the um the logo right here. It has like zippers right here, and it has like the sign and then the inside of it. The, I'm sorry, I had like my lip, my lip gloss and um lips tucks in there, but there's like this hook that's on it on the inside. I don't really know what's it for. 
but is this I don't know if it's on I really don't know what to call I don't know if it's yeah I don't know what to call and then in here nothing then I have like this buckle part of it so I'm able to like buckle it when I have it on these are I forgot what it's called to minimize the hood because the hood is like big as fuck I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like when I try it on because later I am going out this time I'm going to the movies because I'm off today and I really don't have nothing to do and I don't feel like staying home so I'm going to the movies to watch the Marvels but anyways when I open this like the um it had like the logo on the back of it it says like red sacks and the belt also has red sacks and what else oh um I have it comes with this what's it called like these straps where you're able to like either tighten it or loosen it if you want to so I tightened it and it comes with the mini like not mini gloves but like the hand um glove things that have like the little thumb part and stuff you can put your hand through and I believe there's a second zip there's another zipper somewhere oh yeah it has a zipper this is like a horrible horrible review but anyways it has like a zipper right here I don't know if you can see but it has a zipper right here and there's another one right here and I know there's one on the arm part I'm just sure I forgot what's on oh yeah and it has another zipper here so this coat has a lot of zippers I'm not gonna lie and I think it has some on the insides too I could be wrong but this L and for the zipper part it has the red sex um logo it's in grays right here too terrible lighting you cannot see I know but overall I love the coat it is so freaking warm it's ridiculous like I absolutely love this coat this is a great investment if you guys are gonna buy a winter coat please get it now while it's still I believe it's on sale but I only it's only like what 500 so altogether I paid like six something it was 599 and it ended up coming to 653 so yeah and I spent a lot more money on coats before and they have not came close to this like this coat is really freaking warm like when I went outside I did not feel nothing like I was so like confused I'm like oh my god like I love this coat like yeah I keep saying like you know I don't like it <laughs> but yes great 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 coat love it so 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 much and i'm going to do my best to take care of it and i really hope you guys i guess enjoy this review i look you want to unzip it to show you guys oh yeah i forgot and then it has like this part it says the logo the sacks i hope i'm pronouncing that right and it has two straps here so i be able to like put it on and just put the straps on to a point where i guess if i don't want to like fully take off my coat i can just leave the straps on me i guess and it has the red sacks here recycled or recycled um made out of plastic coat tells you what it's made from right here basically i guess um yeah what's it made from how it's breedable um breedable shell water pellet recycled yarn semi-gloss surface so that's really about it about my review of this coat so yeah, go get it, guys. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I'm not gonna lie, this lighting right here is so good. But anyways, my review on the movie, honestly, in my opinion, the movie was okay. Like, it was only an hour and 25 minutes long. I kind of felt like the hour should have been like at least two hours to like 225 to like 230. Um, like 230 minutes, basically. And... That Indian girl who had like the bangle, I felt like she should have had more of a character development. So was the other black girl with the um, curly hair. I felt like she really had no type of character development. I kind of just felt like the director or whoever just kind of like dropped them all in the movie and was like, you know, fuck it. I'm just going to create something rather than actually developing like some type of, you know, with it. Like... I just find them like it was an okay movie, but I didn't love it. I feel like every Marvel movie, every super so, superhero movie should at least be two to probably even three hours long, just so they could have like some type of understanding of who, what, and why X, Y, and Z. I kind of just felt like, you know, 
Like you're trying to defeat this lady who's trying to protect her planner or whatever it is. But it's like, why is she doing this? You know, like the only show is bits and pieces as to. So my overall rating of this movie, I've got like a five, like a five. But it wasn't a bad movie. I just felt like a lot more could have been done to the movie. So if they're going to make another superhero movie, please have some character development. I need something in there to make me be like, ooh, I want somebody else to watch this with me. Not, I don't want to see this movie ever again. You know? Because that's how I felt when I watched it. Because it's like, okay, cool, yeah. I know they're going to make another part because towards the ending, the girl that closed up the freaking thing that was like ripping through time and stuff saw her mother that supposedly passed away see her in a whole other um alternate reality or a parallel universe if you guys watch the flash or something like that and where her mother doesn't even know her or supposedly she's a doppelganger if you want to put it like that if you ever watched the flash and um not the movie the um the series so that's basically it yeah she saw her mom who supposedly is not her mom and trying to figure out who the girl is that they captured because she's in a whole other different world, time, and place. So, you know, but I'll see when the next part two of this movie come out, if I like it or not. But so far, not really a big fan. So that's really all I have to say. And yeah, that's really about it. I think this is probably the end of the video, but if not, I'll probably record more. I don't know, we'll see.